fortunate enough to um, have been working for Premier when Joey Redner contacted Premier Stainless to buy a system. Um, and Wayne actually came on about halfway through when Joey bought the system. So he came on, made some changes to the system. Um, and then Florida's my home state, so most of the installs and training I um, do in Florida. So I was lucky enough to go down, set up the brewery, and meet Wayne for the first time, find out we knew a few people, a few of the same people in Alabama from where he's from. And um, really just became, anytime you work that hard on something that tough, you become good friends or um, really good workers together. But yeah, it was, this guy did a lot of work in that building to um, get it up to par and get it running. And it was fun putting in the system and meeting him and Joey and Joe Senior actually as well. Spain has, uh, of course, a great deal of history, and at first, actually, the name of the collaboration was going to be Gaspar's Gift, like it was taken back from Florida and being given to Spain. But then the more that we did research, we actually realized that Spain contributed more to Gaspar than Gaspar contributed back to Spain. It was actually more of like a one-way uh, situation, so we ended up creating something that was, I, we thought that was rustic and had elements of Florida history and also Spanish history. And Gaspar seemed appropriate. Um, there's been a parade in, in Tampa for, man, it must, have been eight, must be 60, 80 years, called Gasparilla Festival, and they recreate the um, time that Gaspar came in and kind of seized the port and took over, and the people were, you know, loved to have him there, so he was well received by the people. So there's a commemorative parade pretty much every year. And Gaspar was a, he was in the, the Royal Navy, you know, he was in the Spanish Navy, and he kind of, he was kind of a shady character. He kind of decided that, you know what, I'm going to go off on my own. He became like a, a pirate in the Caribbean type area. And, you know, he was just famous for having islands and total debauchery. But he was also kind. He was like, he was like um, a benevolent pirate in a way where he just, you know, like, like Robin Hood. He took from other people and then shared with people who had less. So that's why the people, you know, really well received him whenever he first stormed the port and took over the port. One day actually I was watching an interview with, with another local commercial brewer from Florida and he was talking about making Spanish liquor. Um, and basically it's a process where you take cane sugar and you put it into a dry pot, put direct fire to the bottom of the pot, and you literally turn this stuff into, you darken it, you caramelize the sugar until it's very dark black. It's very similar to the sugar that you would have that's usually served on top of flan. Once we figured that out, we knew we had to put it into the beer, so that was one of the things that we did today. But there was also a tie to Spanish liquor and licorice root. And then there's also the rum element, grog, which is a big part of uh, pirates um, keeping in with that theme and Gaspar. So we decided to age the beer in rum barrels. And we decided Imperial Porter. It's, it's very rustic, um, has some dark, uh, dark chocolate notes, but it's not necessarily coffee-ish, um, usually has some toffee sweetness. From being in the business in both places, in Florida and here, I think that the biggest thing we as Spanish brewers can learn from the Florida craft brewers and, and how they've grown is cooperation. Get along, take care of each other, look after each other. I mean, not, honestly, if you look at everything that we have against us, we're really the underdog in this whole ordeal. And ultimately, it's best if we collectively rise like Alan says, um, and if we share process and technology um, all those different things, it stands to put us in a better place as far as the quality of our product on the shelf. And not just, not just the quality of our product on the shelf, but also knowing when to pull that product off the shelf so that we don't end up in, uh, being viewed in uh, a bad light. You know? it, our, beers are, uh, our beers are delicate and they will not last forever on the shelf and we have to police that. Push into 
Thank you.